welcome back to the channel. As a motorcycle addict, I am naturally interested in all things two wheels and as you know, my garage ranges from a mini moto and dual sport to a sport bike at the moment with motocom. Of course, there are times and places where I can take a motorcycle but still want to keep it on two. Hence, bicycles or as of late e-bikes are all the rage. We bought a set of pedal assist only bikes a few months ago, but I was curious about the newer generation of fully assisted e-bikes. Well, Natco Bikes reached out to me and were kind enough to provide me a e-bike from their lineup for review. So let's take a look and see what is the fuss all about. What we have here is the Discovery model from Nacto that features a integrated 48 volt battery paired with a 350 watt hub motor that provides 50 newton meter of torque, good for about 20 miles per hour top speed and about 22 miles of range. Five levels of pedal assist are available along with the option to ride fully assisted with the throttle on the right side of the handlebar. At the core you have a lightweight aluminum frame with a front fork suspension, disc brakes, front and back and fat tires. An easy readable LCD display gives you all the information needed with a easy to read format from odometer, speed, battery level, power level, pedal assist level and cruise control settings. And yes, you heard that right, this bike comes with cruise control. Fancy. As uh, e-bikes have been getting more and more expensive these days, it is nice to see that a company like Nacto Bikes is still providing a great value for your money. Point in case, the Discovery model sells for only $995. In comparison, our pedal assist only bikes were $2500 a piece and lacking quite a bit in features compared to the Discovery model from Nacto. So let's take a closer look at the Discovery. The stylish frame is finished in matte black and the welds are excellent. Far more, all the components appear to be of good quality from the Shimano 6-speed all the way to the disc brakes. Nothing appears to be flimsy or second grade. As a matter of fact, the golden trim pieces around the handlebar and stem are a very nice touch and make the bike appear somewhat upscale. So who is this particular bike for and what is its use case? According to Nacto's website, it is intended more towards the city with the ability to go unpaved thanks to the fat tire and suspended front fork setup. Well, we do live in the country and definitely put the unpaved aspect to the test and it did just fine. On road, it feels comfortable and the cruise control comes in very handy. One of these things you never knew you wanted until you started using it. I took a few outings with my son and put the Discovery through its paces. Initial thoughts? The bike feels kind of like a mini moto. Light, nimble, not the fastest on the block, but uh, very enjoyable to ride. Stay tuned for more content on this bike as we have more trips planned to put it through its paces. Originally I was supposed to receive the Ranger model, but uh, due to low stock it was changed last minute to the Discovery. In comparison to the Ranger, the Discovery has a overall smaller frame, hence my Minimoto analogy. I am 5'10 or 176 cm and while not uncomfortable, it is pushing it concerning my size. Nevertheless, I am looking forward to see what this e-bike can do, so stay tuned for that. If you are interested in any of the bikes that Nacto is offering, you can use my discount code ROCKET60 to receive $60 off your purchase, but as a disclaimer, I will also receive a small commission when using this code. As usual, keep it on too, stay safe out there, and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.